Hi, good afternoon. I have the pleasure of uh, being the very first author and probably the, the only one so far that actually isn't published yet. <laughs> so uh, uh, it's funny that the, the uh, last time that I was on this stage was at a seminar uh, for getting published. And so two years later, it's nice to be here to announce that it's actually happening. It would be a little bit more of a uh, vindication if I actually had, had my book with me. But uh, um, I am, like uh, Jack said, I'm a local portrait photographer. And uh, I specialize in performing arts, uh, specifically uh, comedians. And those are my kids anyway, so don't worry. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> uh, so... Um, Anyway, I, I, I photograph uh, musicians and comedians, and I photographed um, San Francisco and uh, nationwide international comedy scene for about 15 years. And, uh, and I've put together a book of a collection of my portraits, and, uh, which, will, which will come out in September, um, or rather, pardon me, in the spring. Uh, let me show. Okay, did they not have mine? Can you grab mine? Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll uh, talk a little bit about it. Uh, so uh, I, I was putting out a book, and uh, in 2006, I met Paul Provenza as a, a comedian and uh, also the creator of the uh, movie The Aristocrats. Thank you. Uh, okay. And so uh, what we did then is we, uh, we decided to collaborate, and he would interview the, the comedians that I had photographed. And so we went back into a lot of the people that I had photographed, and then he brought another, a lot of other people to the table. And um, we've had a three-year collaboration of, of interviewing comedians and photographing them. So what I just wanted to do this evening, or this afternoon rather, is to um, go through and, and give a few samples of some of the um, quotes that, that uh, arrive in the book. Okay? Uh, so, um, people are such sheep. All it takes is one person to say, can you believe what he said? Doesn't it make you mad? And then it's, yeah, you're right. We are mad. I'm glad you reminded me. I almost forgot to be mad today. Uh, one of the things that we had to decide was the uh, definition of a satirist, uh, because we, we narrowed our, our, our um, focus to just uh, satirists as opposed to just the wider comedians. And there's kind of sort of two uh, levels of satirists we determined is that there's the uh, de classic definition of a satirist, who is someone who uh, takes on the uh, opinions of the people that he doesn't agree with, uh, a la Stephen Colbert, or there's the truth to power satirists like uh, Bill Maher, who, uh, uh, who is, is essentially up there telling the truth. Uh, here's another one of those. Uh, in America, we're aware of few other countries. Uh, um, uh, oh, pardon me. Uh, yeah. Uh, So, uh, in, in America, we're aware of few other countries. There's one to the north that we're building a virtual fence against, lest they invade us with common sense and humanity and health care. Uh, Henry Rollins. Uh, the GOP is a big tent party. All manner of assholes are welcome in the tent. Oops. That was Janine. Uh, the best line I've heard about Barack Obama Somebody said Barack Obama is a man who's a credit to his races. <laughs> there isn't any moral high ground in this country where racism is concerned. It's been our great sin, and despite all the songs I've written about it, it's not cured. Randy Newman. Uh, it's very strange. I'm Asian American, I'm a woman, I'm queer, I'm so many different things that we don't hear in comedy. So I feel like I'm being revolutionary just by existing. Right. Actually, satire sounds like some chick on Flavor Flav's show. If I was a stripper, that's what I'd call myself. I'd get up on the pole and dance around, and the announcer would go, come on, fellas, give it up for satire. I love my country, maybe because that's, maybe it's because I'm white and rich, but things have really been working out for me. Well, I'm technically not rich, but I do have a lot of shit I don't need that I refuse to share with others, and that feels solid. That's Maria Bamford. Uh, hope is just faith-based denial.
All the comedians I know have a bitterness, a fucking anger, a malcontent and madness about them, which, you know, they use for cash. <laughs> uh, I used to say that I was a communist just because it upset my family. I didn't have the courage to say I was a homosexual, and communist was the next most upsetting thing on the list. Tom, Tom Rhodes. My brother is by nature a would-be conservative, but he's always appreciated my passion. He just said, don't fuck up the show, though, okay? Don't get us fired. I said, don't worry, and boom, we're fired. I guess that's the beauty of coming from a British perspective. You have so much shame that you can initially reach out to Americans by saying, no, it's okay to be ashamed. I, it'll get better. Your empire will die, and you will just be left with the echo of what you've done. Uh, at a certain point, 25% of our economy is going to be satirical shows making fun of the country. Thank you very much.